this is my lightsaber assembly video I have got all the parts already built up the electronics have been soldered together I've got purchased the hilt, I've assembled the blade there will be separate videos covering each aspect of this but for now this is just putting it all together so to start off with this is part of a hilt, all these pieces combined together to make the hilt. This piece has got a circular hole for the switch to go in, so I will install the switch. If you've got a longer hilt, like this one for example, it's rather difficult to get the switch in because you need to mount a securing ring to, to hold it in place and it's a right nightmare trying to screw that switch into one of those longer hilts so I personally love these little custom saber shop ones where you can literally make the, the switch hole in any piece you want you just ask the guy when you're ordering for some custom machining work on and you literally tell him what piece you want to have the switch hole and where you want it put so yeah put the switch through the hole, put the retaining ring over the wires, pull the wires through the ring until you got the ring lined up on top of the switch and then you just twist it on if I can get it lined up properly that is yep so switch is all on so now I just wind the ring down to secure it in place. Try not to get it cross threaded like I just did. Okay, so you want one wire going out each end because one is for the switch, one, oh sorry, one's for the battery pack, one's for the LED. So I'll get the battery pack first. This here is another section, I'll just slot this in, slide it through and it just screws on like so. Now battery pack. I've tied on this other cable here just to help me pull it out later because this is quite a tight fit. You will definitely need to remove a battery pack occasionally to put new batteries in or recharge the batteries or possibly even if another one goes you might want to swap the pack over to get the other saber up and go up and running quickly. So battery packs in. As you probably noticed I've got longer wires than were strictly necessary. So when you come to make one you might want to cut them a bit shorter. Now I just screw the pommel on. Okay, so now for the end where the LED goes. This here is where I'm going to house the LED. It'll sit in this hole at the end here. I love this design. It looks an awful lot like Obi-Wan's design, but that's not why I like it. It's just you got this nice choke point here and the LED sits perfectly in the neck now the reason why I'm screwing it up without the other parts in is because I don't want the wires twisted and breaking again these little side wires are here to help me pull the LED module out if I want to remove it later so connect up the quick disconnect and as you can see I'd left the switch on stupidly so now I just push the wires down the throat and the LED sits very nicely in there now I'll just rubber wrap the side wires around so they're not in the way when I go to put the final section, the emitter, on. So this now is the emitter, just screws on. I 
And there's my lightsaber. But it's more of a torch for the moment because it doesn't have the blade on yet. So insert the blade. Then I've got this nice little grub screw here. All I need to do is grab a multi-tool and tighten it up. Preferably without dropping the multi-tool. And there you have it, blades in nice and securely, and now you've got your lightsaber. So this is just basic assembly. I will do some more videos over the next few days showing you how to assemble the blade, how to find the parts for the hilt, how to solder everything together, and make the module for the light, or for the LED. Yeah, nice and easy to assemble. If you're not after making anything yourself, the Custom Saber Shop is a great source to buy all the parts. You can get everything pre-wired up for you, so you've literally just got the quick disconnects to stick the switch, LED, battery pack, even soundboard if you want one in. I don't as yet own any custom soundboards, so that video will come later when I can actually afford to buy one.